Right, just a quick uh, unboxing of this Logitech G903, the so-called gaming mouse. Um, just been delivered by Amazon today. So let's unpack this and uh, take it from there. I just about cut from there to there, and I thought, right, let me just do an unboxing uh, video, basically. Right, so here we go. Yep, blue tend to keep the packaging intact. Probably most of you think I'm just an idiot, but that's just me. I've got a desktop mouse here. Okay, I use this to do my basic things. Um, and it's a little bit too small. F see the size of my hand and the mouse. So I thought I'd probably go for something a bit bigger, but it's a bit too fancy for for my purpose intended but i do have a gaming machine set up uh on the left hand side of the room uh so i can always always sort of uh utilize it right okay so first thing first looks like a little nice looking don't get me wrong but it's feels like a little uh um it's light maybe the weight needs to be put back put in there Let's see what else we have in the pack Okay, some instructions. I believe this is where the weight is. Weights are. And that's your charging cable. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to leave that on charge. Let's, uh, after, I mean, let's see what's in the box. Okay, so there is a dongle here. I believe that one of them is a receiver. Okay, this is the weight. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> and these are some changeable um, buttons okay i prefer some sort of a little bit little bit of a lever on here so that you can rest your pinky um that's what i would prefer let me put it on this uh, mouse mat so i got it for about 80 pound on amazon uh, retailing around about 130 which is a lot of money for a mouse um but you know, gamers back in the days when I built my first gaming PC, I've spent thousands on it. So, you know, it's one of those things. Um, I do still have a mouse made by Cyborg Nemo 7 or something. Let me grab this. And I still love it because it's heavy. It's bloody, it weighs a ton, basically, versus that mouse. But, you know, so let me unplug it from the back of the PC, bring it out. You can see it yourself. Okay, so that's been unplugged. It's attached to my gaming mouse, basically. So, again, sorry, gaming PC, mouse, gaming mouse. You'll have to forgive me because I've just had a really busy day, basically. Right. So, look at that. Look at the beauty of that. But sadly, these piece of shit company have actually uh, abandoned the support for this mouse basically look at that this is beauty this is why i kept it otherwise i would have i would have smashed it out in the backyard and never to buy uh products from from these companies um you know there's a lot of adjustments and a lot of configuration you can do on this and there's barely been used you know um but they've stopped the support for windows 10 on this mouse can you believe that this was nearly 100 pound mouse back in the days you know, I'm talking a good few years, but even then, you know, a lot of the manufacturers, I've got a lot of old stuff, basically. They're still sort of providing support. Um, but suppose some of you might turn around and say there's expired to everything. Of course there is. But this is this is not food. This is not food. This is hardware. Um, and you're selling these for silly amount of money. So I think that he should have continued the support on this. So sadly, I can only use it to play but i can't make any configuration because the software won't allow it so cyborg yeah okay coming back onto logitech that's the reason why i bought the logitech mouse over this otherwise i would have bought wireless version of this right okay the only other reason why i wasn't very tempted is this is very low profile it's quite low profile i don't know if you can if you can make out it's just about it might look like this is raised that's why but in terms of the depth when you're fitting on your palm Look at that. 
it's nice and that's what you want this one you've got a gap here and it feels a bit awkward plus it's a bit small none of the less it's a nice mouse it's just that what i'm more annoyed about is the software support basically that's been ended by the manufacturer now let's uh, see what's going on here let's peel this off okay take these off as well oh, oh, oh what's all this is all this right <clears throat> I'm going to leave them on for now, because I don't know whether if I'm going to like it or not. And uh, I would have thought that this is some sort of a... Oh, right, it's magnetic. Right, okay. All right. It's magnetic, that. Okay, so I assume that this is going to go in somewhere here. Yep. Yeah. And it's 100... Sorry, 10 gram. 10 gram of weight on this. Hmm. Okay, okay, all right. All right, uh, now now it feels good. It feels good. But still, I'll do a comparison on the weight between the two mice. Mice. Not mouse. Gaming mouse. Mice. Right, let's bring my digital and well calibrated weighing. So that is 120 gram with the weight. Okay. That's going to be heavier. 168 gram so it's clearly for me in terms of weight ratio to feel more of the mouse you know this wins and the look come on this is sexy this is just absolutely frigging gorgeous look at that the work it's just state of art that's one of the reasons why i don't want to get rid of it but hence because of the software i decided to go with this now we'll see how soon logitech decides to abandon the software support for this basically but time will tell other than that that's it really um that's my first thing would i buy it yeah after putting the weight on yes definitely i think i think um, it's a nice nice uh, mouse there's a lot of positive review on the internet um so this is okay i'm gonna abandon this i'm gonna sort of use this and go in the back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in, give it a good charge, then go through the setup process and see how we get it on. I mean, the one other thing I'd like to point out is the the ideally they've got micro type uh, micro USB. Uh, I would have thought that Type C would have been ideal, but if that's what they think, then that's what they think. Um, and uh, look a closer view of this. There was a tendency of uh, button failure, I think, left or the right on, on the YouTube when I saw. People were complaining that the buttons were failing. So we'll see how long, if I get any problem with mine. Uh, but other than that, let's charge this beast up and uh, we shall see what happens. So I'm going to plug this in onto Windows 10. Obviously, it'll probably make a ding ding noise. Yes, it's got... Oh, right, okay, not bad, not bad. Out of factory, it, the battery is charged too bad. So ideally, I'd I'd, uh, I'd give it a good good thingy, um, and in the meantime, I'm going to download the software and have a tinker around with it, basically. But other than that, that's it really. Um, not much to say about the uh, thingy, but this shit mouse is going back into his tray. So, because uh, what it does is probably about if you if you're away 50 centimeter from your computer, it loses signal. So there's definitely an issue with it, but it works close range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this as a as a secondary mouse for doing all, you know, like messing around with my work and all that. And guess what I picked up as well from Amazon? Look at this. Yeah, ready for this? Yeah, the keyboard's going to be hanging. Why is it stuck? Why is it fucking stuck? All right, okay. Yeah, the keyboard's going to be hanging. Absolutely, I need to give the keyboard a clean look at this. All right. Usually I'd have the motherboard here. And then the keyboard sat here and I'm struggling for space and all this business. But now I'll pick this up so the mouse can go there. Just click it onto the board. Do what you need to do. Shove it under the desk. That's that's absolute beauty. Listen, I love my gadgets. End of. I don't care what anybody thinks. You know, I love my gadgets and I'm, I'm a big fan of gadgets. So, yes, this is why I have a lot more stuff than what a normal workshop requires, basically. That's me being me. Nothing's going to change that. 
absolutely nothing. So anyway, that's that. Let's see. I'm going to put these back. I see. Okay, so let's put them here. <coughs> Drop it back in. Let's put the box away. Let's charge the mouse and see how we go on with it. But yeah, as I said, what a beautiful mouse. This one, sadly. Thumbs down. A cyborg. To stop this support enough said take care look after yourself and i'll catch up in the next video i have a lot of repairs sadly not all the videos can be uploaded because of time constraint so i will do as and when i can to upload things that i feel um one of the repairs going to be uh talking about macbook a1286 that which have trolled me right from the outset um it was ch slow charge the symptom was uh it was charging slow but at the same time uh very very slow i mean you know it can it can take an hour to to charge 10 percent, 15 percent, basically um and i've i've I'll, I'll go through it you know i've, I've rebuilt the entire circuit the isl 6259 um Reball the SMC. I was going to replace it, but I knew that the SMC wasn't bad. All the resistors on the data line have been checked and replaced. The MOSFET near the battery, that connector, that's been replaced. Uh, the entire circuit of, of ISL 629, 6, 6 to 5, 9. Uh, caps, the resistors, everything have been replaced. Okay. A new battery was also fitted. Same problem. But... I'll continue the conversation. I'll go into more in depth on another video. All right. So, so watch out for the other video for the A1286 MacBook. Anyway, take care. Bye for now. Peace. Peace. Oh, right. The mouse is not connected. So, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm being trolled again. Let me. see what's happening yeah I'm trying to stop the video and I can't see that happening because this new mice isn't working so let me connect me old mice um, shut that up yeah okay so the mouse is functional now the old one anyway take care guys bye for now